we're here now with Simon Shaw, who very, very, very gratefully has, has arrived and, and is going to sit in front of us for a few minutes. He has fish to feed at home, he's just told us. So we don't want, what are they, koi carp? Just goldfish. Just goldfish. Just one. one. Yeah, lonely goldfish. Right. No one at home needs feeding. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so we'll rattle through this as, as quickly as possible. Another World Cup camp, Simon Shaw. I, I mean, I don't know, how many, how many are we talking about now? There's been a few, haven't there? Fourth or fifth. Well, well who's counting, then? <laughs> yeah, none of them particularly pleasant, pleasant, I have to say. But uh, no, it's uh, it's been going well. The boys are really putting it in. It's, uh, it's obviously great to be here again. Now, one of the great things about you, and I hope you see this as a positive, because because it is. I'm right in saying you now hold the record for the biggest lifespan of of playing for England. You started when you were, you know, seven, and here you are now. You're 54 and you're still playing for England. That's a slight exaggeration, but not much. Um, yeah, I, I think that's the case. I think I took over from Mike Cat um, in, in this year's in these Autumn Internationals, or last year's Autumn Internationals. Um, but, you know, it's not it's not a great record to hold, I guess. Um, I think it's pretty good. It shows your longevity and your, and your perseverance. Yeah, or well, just being uh, persistent and hanging around, <laughs> some would say, but no, uh, no, it, no, it's always an honour, obviously, to, to, to play for England, so the longer you can do it, more, the better, in, in, in my view. Now, if I were to say to you, I don't know, eight years ago, <laughs> as you raised your battered body off your bed and, and played in the World Cup, do you know what? You're going to be here in eight years' time doing the same thing. Could you possibly have believed it, and indeed believed it in yourself, that you'd be mad enough still to be putting yourself through this? Um, uh, I always had faith that my, my body would hold together uh, for a few more seasons. I, I think uh, you always there's always that concern in your head that you're going to be able to keep the quality up, keep the, keep the standard required to, to play at this level. Um, and in 2007, after the final, I was absolutely devastated um, to have lost that game and, and, and believed at that stage that you know I probably wouldn't be in that same position ever again. So. Uh, just to be here um, competing for a place um, is, I wouldn't say it's a miracle, but it's, it's not its not far off it. Um, and just to give myself another chance of, of, of getting to another final and, and, and being there would be fantastic. Now, you're probably used to Martin Johnson being your boss now, but uh, you more than most, I mean, you, you've played alongside him as, as, as an equal. You're, you're age-wise, you're not that far off. I know he's a little bit older, but I mean, you know, he goes from your teammate to your boss. How easy transition is that? Uh, it hasn't been difficult at all, to be honest. I mean, uh, he's kind of your boss when he was captain as well, though, wasn't he? Yeah, exactly. And um, no, he's he's obviously um, you know he's obviously he's, he's done everything in, in the game there is to be done, and um, he commands a lot of respect. And, and uh, I've always been very respected of my my coaches and uh, managers and you know, whoever they've been. So. Uh, it just you know, it's, it's been seamless really it's taken over and, and you give them that respect straight from the off okay final question because i know that fish his mouth is open waiting for that little bit of fish food to go inside him um a lot of cheeky chappies in this uh, in this rugby squad uh they believe they've got good banter we know the truth yeah. um i assume mm -hmm. your age the gray hair all of that comes into it from from the youngsters you mean mickey taking with me um, if they're mad, yeah. Every now and then, every now and then. But I kind of keep myself to myself, keep quiet in the corner, and, and uh, listen to the likes of Chris Ashton and, and James Haskell spout rubbish constantly. Um, and occasionally they'll say something funny, but it's very rare. <laughs>